Hi guys, my name is Christine and I'm a dating, relationship and personal development coach and today I'm talking about people start missing you when this happens. So if you're trying to attract someone back into your life, if you're trying to maybe even see who your people are because sometimes we can have a lot of fake people around us, it could be like fake people that are faking interest in us romantically, it could be fake friends, it could even be family members that don't really care about us. So if you're trying to figure out basically who cares about you, who are the people that are on your side, who do actually value you and are enthusiastic about you, then this is a good way to, to do this, to, to view this. Now you should already have an idea of the people that um, want you in their life, right? And But there may be people that you can think of that, hmm, yeah, I'm not sure if that person actually values me, if that person actually cares about me because it seems like I'm the one that's always putting in the effort. Um, so this is also a good way to attract an ex back as well, um, as an ex that does actually still care about you and still has feelings for you. So people tend to start missing you when you have actually put your foot down over a certain situation and have sort of left them, right, walked away from them, gone into no contact with them, okay? And they start to miss you when they realise that you are serious about walking away from them and now they have to be the one that pursues you, that offers that olive branch if it's um, sort of like a friend or a family member to try and reconnect things, to try and solve the problem. So obviously you only want to do this with people that you actually have an issue with that or you think has an issue with you. You don't just go around doing this with people who you're just kind of testing because you want to see how they feel about you and you're kind of using it in a manipulative way because this can be used in a very manipulative way if used in you know in the wrong terms right because if you're so you've got to have the right intentions right when you walk away from someone if you're just doing it because you want to see how someone feels about you um but they've not really done anything wrong to make you see um that they've disrespected you or um don't like you right you have to use this in a very um good way right and with good intentions so, for example, like a good intention would be, let's say you've got a family member that has always belittled you, makes you feel small. Um, they say they've always got something negative to say and they're always putting you down. So let's say you go to them and you've got, you know, things that you're really excited about in your life and they dismiss it or they say that you're stupid or, you know, they're just mean to you, right? And you should have an idea of who those kinds of people are. It may, it may not be a family member, it could be a friend. But let's say you've got some, a friend like that or a family member like that in your life who belittles you in that way you can say to them look I don't really like the way that you make me feel when you say this to me I don't really like the way that it makes me feel when you treat me in this way um, and I'm no longer going to tolerate it so if you you know care about me and you care about our friendship or our relationship our connection then you know get in touch when you're ready to apologize about this behavior right and then you walk away from them and you wait for them to express, um, you know, <laughs> some remorse, basically, over what happened. And you do that by going into no contact, by walking away from them, and by seeing if they reach out to you and, you know, actually do apologise to you, okay? So, for example, for me in my own life, um, I've kind of always had a love-hate relationship with my brother, <laughs> right? Um, my mum has always told us that we're like lion cubs, you know, we're either fighting or we're really uh, loving towards each other. And, you know, sometimes, you know, he can be a bit of a dick to me and I can be a bit of a dick to him. And But usually we always come back to each other, even if we do have a spat um, and we apologise um, in our own little way. Sometimes it may not actually be a proper apology, like, you know, uh, you know, a worded one. It could be something simple as offering a gift or um, uh, I remember once he upset me and he gave me a kiss on the head. You know, that's how I know that there's that there. So you may not actually get like a, a like a a worded apology, unless that's what you state. Like, if you say to someone, like, this is the way I want you to apologise to me, then maybe that will work for you. But um, th that's how you know, basically, right? Because if someone really is genuine about their uh, feelings for you, they will come back into your life. They will try and make the effort. They will try to offer that olive branch in some shape or form. Someone that doesn't care about you, that doesn't value you, will not do those things. They will either you just either the connection will just stop with them you will no longer speak to each other again properly or um they will 
um, say something like, um, that, well, they'll just continue to behave the, the way that they've always behaved. They will not change their behavior. Because that's the true sign of someone who is remorseful, right? So they don't continue with that bad behavior that they did in the past. Okay, so that's when you will realize that people start missing you. When you've walked away from them, if they start coming back into your life, if they're offering those olive branches, if they're apologizing to you for the way that they treated you, that's how you know. Now, in terms of an ex, right, let's say an ex dumped you, right? And um, how can you get that ex to miss you? Well, you do the same thing. You walk away from them. You do no contact with them. If they care about you and if they're worried about losing you, they will do something about it. They will reach out to you eventually. Right? It may take some time because let's say you have been a bit of a doormat and you've been letting them walk over you. You've been con in contact with them. You're still trying to... You're, you're basically the one that's always putting in the effort trying to fix things, right? If you're the one that's always been trying to fix things, when you stop doing it, they may think for a while, oh yeah, they'll come back because they always do. They're always trying to make things work out with me. But once they realize that you're not going to do that anymore, that say a certain amount of time has gone by and you still haven't called, you still haven't messaged, right? If they love you and they care about you, they will try and do something about it. Once they realize they that, that you're gone, that, that, that they could have lost you, right? Because let's say, for example, let's say someone phoned you up today and you have no idea who they are, no idea whatsoever who this person is. And they say, sorry, I'm not going to speak to you ever again. Like, you'd be like, fine, I don't care. I don't know who you are. But when someone you love, someone you cares about calls you up and says, look, I'm not going to speak to you ever again. You feel hurt towards that. You want to try and do something. You want to try and fix the situation. Right. So that's kind of the same sort of feeling that you need to put in someone who um, has disappeared or someone who like someone like an ex who's dumped you or someone who like a friend or a family member that has been disrespecting you. You have to be firm. You have to say, look, if you keep on treating me like this. I'm going to leave or I'm, um, you know, if you've been dumped, like, I'm not going to chase you anymore. If you want to, if you want to be with me, then you've got to chase me because I've done all I can basically. Okay. So that's what you've got to do. That's the distinction. That's when people start to miss you. They start to miss you when they realize that they, you could actually be gone, that you, that they've lost you. Right now, of course, though, the flip side of this is that there may be people out there who you do this with, like an ex, or it could be a family member, it could be a friend that simply do not care. Right. And you may not hear from them ever again. Or um, in terms of someone that you're arguing with, like a friend or a family member, they may just continue to treat you like you've always done, like they've always done. They've, they continue to disrespect you. So what happens then if you do have a friend or a family member that continues to disrespect them, to, to disrespect you once you put your foot down? What do you do? Well, you measure the distance. You realize that, okay, this person isn't going to change. They're not going to change the way that they act towards me. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to spend less time with that person if possible. Or as, mo as often as possible, I'm going to spend less time with them. Or if it's a friend, you might actually be able to cut them out of your life completely. Obviously, you might not be able to do that with some family members. But there could be some family members that you can completely cut out of your life and never speak to again. It's, that's perfectly possible. Okay, so that's the idea. People start missing you when they realize that they've lost you. Okay. Or that they could have lost you. And that's when they start to chase you. That's when they start to pursue you. That's when they start offering that olive branch to try and fix things. So that's a very important distinction that you need to make. But it all comes from self-respect. You've got to have that fortitude. You really do have to have that, um, that, that fortitude to put your foot down and not be a doormat anymore. Okay, Because if you're letting people walk all over you, then you're going to continue to be disrespected um, and uh, used and... Um, basically always be the loser in that situation okay so thank you so much for watching if you'd like to get in touch with me personally and you'd like coaching with me then please go to www.christineloverage.com and i shall talk to you again very soon goodbye guys